I'm starting this video with a historic Chinese proverb which loosely corresponds to the essence of give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. The more implicit meaning of this effectively embodies the importance of delving deeper into the fundamental skills and components required for a particular task or outcome you desire, rather than accepting surface level offerings or immediate gratifying results. Hey everyone, as you've probably already deduced from the title and introduction, today we're going to be having a look at first principles thinking, something that's really helped me generate new perspectives and insights in my personal endeavours. We'll be covering what it is, some successful examples of its application, and stay tuned to the end of the video to find out an actionable framework as to how you might be able to adopt this into your problem solving and decision making. First Principles Thinking is a problem-solving foundation with an impressive history of proponents, including the likes of Aristotle, Isaac Newton, Richard Feynman, and Elon Musk. They have respectively used it to lay down the principles of logical analysis, fundamental scientific principles governing much of modern science, solve highly complex scientific problems, and achieve groundbreaking advances in space exploration, electric vehicles, and many more. So what is first principles thinking? Well, let's momentarily ask a different question. What's the difference between understanding and knowledge? The ability to know things through finding, holding, and then recalling information we tend to label as knowledge. It is useful in doing routine tasks day in, day out. But if something goes wrong, things are to some degree at a standstill. It's hard to deduce why that thing has gone wrong. Knowledge alone lacks direction, it lacks an ability to critically think outside the box. To understand something is to look deeper, to organise knowledge into meaningful arrangements and extract out of the box insightful conclusions. To view life's many situations through a lens of assimilated fundamental principles. At the heart of understanding is first principles thinking, that is, to break a system, problem, or situation down into its most fundamental building blocks that can't be simplified down any further. We are looking for the most basic set of factors or governing truths that give rise to a particular outcome. And this in turn is all driven by curiosity and having that constant drive to ask meaningfully directed questions. First principles thinking is very much like a river network or a tree. We might start off by viewing a glorious waterfall or flourishing greenery on the outside, but we are actually more interested in retracing steps all the way back to the beginning, the river source or the tree roots. Only once we have understood the situation down to its fundamental building blocks do we start rebuilding it from the ground up. How does this help us? Well, it allows us to be more innovative and critical in our problem solving and decision making, to go beyond status quos, to unlock new discoveries, and to reason up from a central set of fundamental principles to make novel connections between ideas. Let's say your goal is to make a culinary masterpiece. A first principles approach would be to understand the role of each ingredient and how it contributes to the final product, and this can be right down to the molecular scale if you so wish. Molecular gastronomy is a prime example, and how we can understand right down to the molecular level what drives the flavour of food in cooking. This is noticeably distinct from solely following a recipe given to you. Let's say you're making a cake. As opposed to only knowing the recipe, if you also knew the detailed role of each ingredient, you can experiment more efficiently to obtain your own recipe. And the more understanding you have, or rather the deeper in your understanding network you delve about each ingredient and their interactions with one another, the more innovative your experimentation can be and the more fruitful the outcome will be. First principles thinking isn't just limited to experiments and technology. Diagnosing why you didn't obtain something you wanted, like in a sport or an exam grade, is effective when done from first principles. Rather than playing a blame game or putting the occurrence solely down to luck or something similar. An opposite to first principles thinking would be to not delve as deeply as you should towards the building blocks of a problem, to avoid seeking an understanding if you like. Another opposite is reasoning by analogy. 
where her decision making and problem solving are based purely on similarities with previous experiences and situations. Instead of breaking problems down into their fundamental blocks, solutions and approaches from the past are utilised on the assumption they will work again. Now this can be a shortcut in certain situations, however, relying on assumptions without due consideration of context or principles is dangerous particularly with complex or novel problems. Now, the ABCs framework aptly describes a typical thought process for first principles thinking. Assemble your situation and goal. What is the problem? What are you trying to solve or improve? What are key assumptions you are making? Break this goal into a fundamental skill set or a set of foundational blocks. Let reasoned curiosity and question asking guide you. You need these blocks to be accurate so you have a sturdy foundation to build from. Then construct your situation back up using these fundamental blocks as a base. What are you trying to achieve? Let your creativity flourish here. What links between blocks can you see and how can you utilise that? Sharpen the saw. Review what you have constructed. What were you setting out to do? How can it be improved? What other ideas can you create? Turning to the field of chemical engineering, a fantastic case of first principles thinking was deep tank fermentation. Fermentation is a key biological process for producing many types of products. Prior to deep tank discoveries, fermentation was done by growing microorganisms in shallow trays, so-called surface fermentation. But by stepping back and analysing all the various factors affecting fermentation, right from process conditions to the molecular scale, chemical engineers gradually moved to cultivating microorganisms in bioreactors containing liquid growth mediums, dramatically increasing throughput, yield and efficiency of fermentation processes. An example where first principles thinking was very much needed was the Chernobyl nuclear accident. Now, there were multiple factors contributing to this catastrophe. However, in part, the whole reasoning by analogy took hold. The Chernobyl RBMK reactor was assumed safe based on its operational track record. And during a low power test, it was assumed the RBMK reactor would behave analogously to other reactor types. Yet delving slightly deeper into fundamentals would have revealed unique properties and complexities of this reactor in this setting. Inevitably, this led to one of the worst industrial disasters in history and a stark reminder to the importance of thorough understanding of first principles, critical thought and the dangers of blindly applying analogies in a variety of settings. So to conclude, first principles thinking and rationalising up from a set of fundamental principles can be an incredibly potent tool in all sorts of situations, and the ABC's framework can be one way in which you can employ this. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider subscribing, sharing, hitting that notification bell, and signing up to Chemify's mailing list at chemify.com.